Hey guys, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at a VN 1600 against the Ducati 1200 volts driver. And the wife who gets in this video, you're going to see now, she's awkward. But when I came back, she rattled off exactly what I wanted to hear. I should have the GoPro in my hand. She went, I don't like this, I want that, I don't like this. You didn't feel confident. I was like, stop, keep it in your head, and let's do a video. So let's watch this now. So, just been out on a 20 mile ride on the VN with the wife. It's been a couple of times now, but today she felt uncomfortable. Now, we then went out on, went out on the Ducati 1200. And surprisingly, she liked that a bit more. But here's what she had to say. So Lou, the VN1600, how did you feel on the back of that? Didn't like it. Because? Felt uncomfortable, seat's too big, I'm too short, and you didn't feel very comfortable. You, you took it, I didn't feel confident on the bike. Yes. Because what, accelerating? I mean, one stage I ever took a bike. Uh, and to, I didn't like it. Didn't like it? No. So you thought I didn't feel comfortable? No, <coughs> it's a plod, I don't like it. Which is strange, because we had a, an XVS Yamaha 1300, and you didn't mind that. So, anyway, so then we get on to the adventure style bike. Stand in front of it, too small. <laughs> <laughs> so, we literally got off of this, the VN 1600, and got straight onto Ducati. And what do you think? I loved it. Because? You're more confident, maybe a little bit overconfident, but you are more confident. I felt better on the back of it, uh, but it feels very urgent and wants to get where it wants to go yesterday. So I prefer the BMW. <coughs> Now, I will say that I did in touring mode, I had a back box on there for comfortability for her, and I tried changing around about four to 5,000 revs to keep it smooth as possible. I did not open her up at all. This thing will do 11,000 revs if you really pushed her. So I tried to keep it nice and smooth for her, and the wife still thinks it sounded urgent, and I was trying my utmost best. On the VN, I mean, my God, she is heavy. You know, pushing her around, and once I'm going, I feel fine. I felt reasonably confident with it today. Got a smile on my face, I was trying to do a bit of vlogging. Whether it worked or not, you could hear me. I'm going to find out when I review this. But generally, I didn't feel that bad, but I know because this has got full dress. Which means as has plates, and plates here. And this is what she's not feeling confident on, because her feet don't touch them very well. These are in the way, and her bum's here, and she doesn't touch the back. So because of all these four items, it's making her feel uncomfortable. Surprisingly, she didn't feel confident. I'm going to ride this to work all next week. It may have been because of me. I had the Yamaha 1300 and I was very confident riding on that. But you can't get off of one of them and get straight onto one of these. Or straight onto one of these. They really are three different bikes. I'm not going to go into the sports and trail ones. We have three different cruisers here. And this really, <laughs> with the 1200 engine from Ducati, doesn't want to cruise. It does want to go. The speeder does want to tip over that seven mark and keep going, um, which I did not do with the wife on the back. But the back box helped. This has got panniers on as well, and it's got these pegs. It's funny, because the wife got on here and said, oh, these feel funny. And uh, obviously I said, could just be on the, the actual flat plates. So overall, she wants me to ride like I'm riding one of these, don't you? No. Well, you like the cruising, you don't want the urgency. I just don't want to hang on for dear life. So you like the idea of this style bike, but yeah. not with the Ducati engine. So BMW. where are we? <laughs> so where are we? Well, the problem was... I'm only short. She is short. The problem with the BMW GS 1200, which I've done a video of, is I'm just too short and it's too heavy. This was my idea of having a bike that was a lot, a lot lighter, and it really is lighter. But the problem are, and I keep pointing to it, the 1200 engine that just wants to ram down the road. In an overview, I need a light bike, I'm getting old, I don't want some 420 kilos, this 187 kilos is much better, but I need a nicer engine which is a GS. So what's next? We're going to have to look at a GS800. Now my friend got a GSA800, I'm going to do a video of that one, and I sat on it the other day, same height as this, but I don't think the engine is going to be so urgent. So I think we need to test drive 800. Mm -hmm. It's yes. the same style as the 1200, but it's the baby basically. and. Um, if a short little bit of touring, 800 engine will do it all day long. It's got a BMW pedigree, I suppose you want to call it. So it's sell that, sell that, and uh, try a BMW GS 800, I guess. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, she wants to go for the GS. Well, like, share, subscribe. I'll keep making them, and uh, stay safe on the road.